Now, one thing I want to mention about the ray. In most cases, I'm going to show you doing this with a stair. I'm also going to lay out a real quick couple tips and tricks on just getting some curtain wall look uh, to my model in a very fast way. One of the things about a ray is in most cases, not all cases, uh, like if I'm doing singular lines, it's not so much, but if you have something like this stair, it automatically groups it. Now we haven't really gone down this road of groups just yet, so this is kind of leading us into that. So groups basically think of that as blocks, as families, right? So groups equals families. So that's all you gotta get brainwashed about. Groups equals families. So groups basically, you can give them names, you can copy them around, or in this case, array. And then if you modify one, it updates everywhere. That's the beauty of the whole thing. So working with array, so let's kind of break this down just a little bit. So let me come back here. Let me open up another file. And let's see here. So looking at stairs, right? At some point, we're all going to have to build these things. So let's, let's try to understand how to draw them ASAP, OK? So if I come in here, I'm just going to draw a rectangle down on the ground. So let's just say uh, they're one foot six deep, and let's just say for the fun of it, they're five feet, all right? And then I'm gonna make my life easy. I'm gonna say that they're six inches. Now, I want to array this, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click, right? That selects all edges. And then I'm gonna right click, and then on my right click, I'm gonna grab my array tool. Now, what's cool about the array tool is you got length, which I'll show you here dealing with curtain walls, um, and length between two points. So in this case, I'm going to grab length between two points. I know that there's six inches, so I'm thinking 10 feet here, so I'm going to need 10 of these guys. And I pick OK, and then all I do is I snap onto here. How cool is this? And then I snap onto here, and then I get stairs. Now, the beauty is, is do you see how there's double boxes going around that stuff? So that's your, basically, your graphical display that that is now a group. Now, to work with groups, and I'll show you how to build your groups just on fly. So just understand, in most cases with array, it just does it automatically. To work on a group, all you got to do is double click. I think everybody can handle that. And then you simply, you know, do whatever you need to do with it. So if I pick on this face, you can see how they all update all at the same time. So maybe I want to bring this out, let's say, six inches. Uh, maybe we realize that instead of five feet, uh, we now realize that this should have been another foot. So I can bring it out a foot. Maybe instead of a square nose, maybe I want to change that. Maybe I want to do a diagonal here on the nose. And then here's your, I'm going to brainwash you. I come in here, and now I'm subtracting. How cool is that? Don't push it too far out, and then it gets weird. All right, so kind of cool. So instantly I can do some kind of really cool freeform shapes. The other thing with array, just to take note, is you can also do a radio array. So just got to pick a rotation point, and basically from there it's going to look at you using arrows, uh, what type of angle you want, and then based on how many you need or whatever distance, it'll go from there. So definitely you can do spiral stairs with this thing too. It's just got to, when you do your array, just choose that radio button. So a really cool, fast, and quick way of handling that.